road to the finals Saturday here in Tucson and quarterfinals morning kicks off with number one Killian Carroll versus number eight Abraham Montillo. And Carroll is ready to pounce. No slow start for this champion. He racks up eight straight points before Montillo gets on the board. But Montillo is able to step up his game, shows why he's in the top eight. Oh, I like that One shot. He matches seven points to Killian's final seven. Yes, Killian ultimately takes this one 15-7. Here game two, Montillo comes out ready to strike three straight points to gain some confidence. Wow. But Killian strikes back. There's the hop. Look at that thing. Are you kidding me? And Abraham walking up to the dotted line. <laughs> Looking for his 19th Race for Eight Tour win this season. The same number of Race for Eight titles he has won. Firing shots and serves that Montillo just can't touch. 12 straight points, and this one is in the bag. Semifinals, here Killian comes. Next up, Sam Esser versus Daniel Cordova. Game one, full of ups and downs for both players, both pulling out the shots and the power. Esser just beat Cordova in Houston a couple weeks ago. Here sharing with me, he needs to bring his A++ game again and takes the lead 11-7. But Daniel creeps point by point to tie this up and then so comfortably takes the lead, using his sweet serves, really just looking solid to take this game 15-11. Game two, beginning with a battle, trading off points, coming to a tied 5-5. And this point, putting Sam on the ground, diving to give it his all, not just once, but twice in this one rally. He doesn't want Daniel to have any edge, but the point goes to Daniel, and he takes the lead and then builds on it. Sam, unable to recover. It's all Daniel heading to the semis. Oh, goodness, wow. Then we've got Luis Cordoba versus Shorty Ruiz. Luis, ready to put this one away. 11 unforced errors in game one for Shorty gives Luis a steady 15-4 win. And Luis, ready to attack Shorty while he's down, knowing if he can end this fast, it makes same day semifinals that much easier to jump into. And he does. Luis takes it, holding Shorty to just four points again. Last quarterfinals brings number three, David Fink, and number six, Leo Canales Jr. on the show court. Fighting for the last semifinal spot, Fink comes out strong. He's 18 years older than Canales and shows he has not just the experience, but the power. He builds a strong lead at 11-5. Incredible rally there, Dave doing a great job. And Canales has some ground to make up. Starts to control some points, but just can't pull it off. Fink takes game one, 15-8. And game two doesn't cool down. Point. Love that shot. Fink brings the heat again, hammers away right down to the match point, takes this one 15 8. All right, time for some semifinal action. Killian Carroll versus Daniel Cordova hit the court first, and Carroll is just unstoppable. Some fantastic rallies, but he takes the lead 6 1 and holds a steady distance from there. From rollouts to nailing the perfect spots, Killian has it all. He takes game one 15-4. And you thought he was solid in game one. Oh no, you haven't seen anything yet. Will he even let Daniel get on the board in game two as he scores point after point? His anticipation, footwork, placement, precise, definitive, and Killian here with his 20th win of the season, 15-4. Oh, and there it is. Killian right. takes game nice number match, two. 15 to 4 after the first one had the same fate. You know, my serve, like it was pretty good, but it just wasn't like I like it to be. You know, I usually like to get that set up on the return to serve. And, you know, it's, it's just like target practice, you know, because I've been there many times before and I just know that I need to put it in the corner and move on, you know, and that's what happened in the second game. And I just got lucky. Daniel never really put, uh, found the bottom board today. And I was just able to finish the rallies as well. So he was never really able to gather momentum. and. You know, it's pretty hot here and pretty humid uh, for Tucson. You know, and the, well, the courts are hot. I mean, uh, both of us were just kind of sluggish, I would say. And who will he meet in the finals? It all comes down to Dave Fink and Luis Cordova. Luis, game one, jumps out to a 4-1 lead and really just lays it all out. Total control in this one and takes the game 15-4. Game two, Luis wants to take care of this one quick. Playing on target and within minutes he has the first 10 points. Fink has yet to make anything happen. His first point finally comes. It's 10-1 and he's not willing to then give up. He's ready for a good fight, his frustration apparent. Yikes. Right out. 
Yeah, yeah, he's appealing it now. He's picking up some points and making Luis work for his others. At 12-5, Luis has just a few more to pick up, and he does. He takes care of this one, 15-7. And there he gets it on an ace serve, and he takes down reverse. David Fink here. Finals tomorrow, what would it mean for you to take this one home? I mean, just beating Killian, you know, that would be amazing because of the way he's been playing and stuff. So, um, I mean, winning would be great, but beating Killian, I feel like, be would be more of an accomplishment, you know? If I beat him in the semis or in the quarters or something. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I hope I can pull it out.